You know how extremely motivated I am to come back to this game? I'm literally recording the sixth part. And you know, you guys are thinking like, well, what's so special about the sixth part? This is what's so special about it is that I'm recording it before I even have released the first part. So by the time I'm recording this, the first part isn't even out yet. And here I am already doing the sixth part. I haven't even edited the third part, the fourth or fifth. And here I am just really riled to get back into, you know, this. Because honestly, this game is delivering a lot. And I guess it kind of just the fact that it's an RPG. And I'm actually kind of really into it with RPGs now that I kind of remembered what it's like. Especially with this game feeling a lot more different. Now that you get to have a little bit more freedom with how you move around in an RPG. So it, that to me feels a little bit special. Although, let's just please, I don't want another bath scene. Because I didn't come here to play for a bath scene. I came here to play for some interactions. Not near nudity. I need water. Frick. While this plays, I'm gonna get water. I was really gone for that long just from getting, you know, water that the whole intro played. Wow. Also, I'm just realizing it's probably too loud for you guys. And there's probably going to be some echoing that you guys probably have heard, so my apologies. Okay. Also, I got to literally, at least I got to look back at some of the, um, what was it? videos that I previously recorded and I guess I am a l I think it's a I'm a little bit too loud occasionally but I think it's actually not that bad also I've been messing around with the room objects a lot um and as you can see uh I got the little plushies on the shelf and I think I unlocked them by just doing the first visit I guess so next we have Bert hmm let's see how this goes <laughs> I'm gonna expect this to be kind of awkward, to be honest. Wow. So elegant. The way she just walks in, just, you know. And the way she walks, too. Wow. Oh, hello there. My name is Vert, and I am the goddess of Leanbox. Hmm. I have introduced myself, but... I believe that you already know who I am. Is that correct? Yes, I just can't memorize your voice since it's so weird. I mean, I've seen a little bit of the anime, uh, apparently, and also that has a little bit of nudity, which is just wonderful, am I right? But, yes, I do know who you are. Hmm, so it is true that you possess the power of interdimensional interaction. <laughs> I suppose I am not surprised. Upon seeing your face, I have felt that this is not the first time that we have met. What? I must admit, this feels strange. Yeah, like... Looking at you, you do not seem so different from the rest of us. What? I am a dude! 
You are a woman. What a surprise. You appear to be much friendlier than I imagined. Oh, shoot. Hold up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, please forgive me. <laughs> I have yet to explain information that is pertinent to our current situation. Eastwar had informed me somewhat of your identity and the special role you have here. I was told that your existence is abnormal and that you hold a unique power to interact with alternate dimensions. Every Gamer 101, However, right? now that we have actually made contact... Except I'm unique because I'm the one making I the video. I quite a different image of you in my head. I am surprised and relieved. She's probably expecting some fat dude just like... Mm. <laughs> not to be mean, but you know. You have such lovely consoles. This is the perfect environment for anyone to indulge in the wonderful world of gaming. Oh, Whoa there. I apologize. Instincts were kicking in, as it were. Instincts are kicking in about gaming? It what are you, my, like, but soulmate? It is truly work-related. Whenever I visit someone's room, I habitually peruse their gaming setup. Oh, well, then excuse me. Let me um, show my yeah, little I setup right here that I used to record. I understand this time meeting you, but was it rude of me to look through your personal game collection? Wait, this is a yes I Ah! Uh, um, actually, wait. The more I think about it, haven't we kind of all done that at one point? Like, isn't there the one time and period where you just, like, okay, like, thinking of my childhood self, like, oh, if you're children, of course, what, you know, you, you go to your friend's house, you're like, ooh, what games do you have, you know? You, like, you don't even allow them to say yes or no if, you know, hey, you can check it out or not. You just go right through them immediately. You don't even, like, e that question might as well have not even been asked. You're just like, ooh, you got Smash Bros. Brawl, you got Call of Duty Black Ops, you got Crash Bandicoot and saying, what was that? Wait, no, she was that game. Uh, d d Twin Sanity. That's what it was. Crash Bandicoot Twin Sanity. You know, all these PS3, you know, Halo or just, you know, Wii, PS3 or Xbox 360 games. I feel like as a child, you usually would do that. But as an, I feel like there's still a little bit of that instinct as an adult. So was it rude for me to look through your personal game collection? I mean... As a weird of a person I am, I personally don't think it is. I mean, I think I do that to some of my friends, too. Like, when we were playing on some of their consoles at a, a local tournament, which was a weird local tournament that we had set up. Um, I kind of looked... I think there was a one point in time we looked through my friend's games. He had some, you know, considerably weird games, so... And he wasn't, you know, off by it, so... I don't think it is. I am glad that is the case. <sighs> <laughs> this is a very lovely room. The way she shakes her head. Let us like, collaborate what? in order to create the ultimate gaming room. Oh my gosh. Oh, is it time already? Wow. I did happen to drop in suddenly. I suppose I should be leaving now. Otherwise, I might just overstay my welcome. Okay then. I will be taking my leave now, player. Uh, okay, thank you. I must say, today was a wonderful first meeting. I do hope we will interact much more from now on. Wait, I just realized, what is she wearing in her legs? I'm just realizing that. Like, I just realized that. <laughs> Hello? Also, I'm pretty sure now we can get the plush of her, right? Since we... Oh, not yet, actually. I think maybe uh, after we do the second one, maybe? Second, you know, thing. So she's interesting, I think. I mean, she's really, she's uh, scaredly hot, number one. Like, let's all admit that. I mean, look at the way she, she's elegant, <laughs> number two. The way she walks in is like, oh yeah, also, the clock up there. It's actually uh, 1120 right now. So I think that is real time. So that is a Hello. nice it detail. A really while. like that. <laughs> yes, not that long, I suppose. I'm happy to see you are well. This is a random question, but how do you feel about the nation you grew up in? I am certain you have several memories of it, but were you fond of living there? Nation? I'm... L wait, like, here, for example? Like, the state? 
Like, as in, like, oh, yeah, I'm fine. I mean, how do you go wrong with just living wherever you want? I mean, yeah, Arizona isn't the most popular state, but, hey, at least there's no, like, natural disasters. I don't really, like, Arizona, you know, might have some earthquakes because it's next to California, which is claimed to have the most earthquakes. And I've been living here for pretty much all of my life and occasionally going out of state here and there. I do not remember the last time we even had an earthquake. In fact, throughout my whole life, I've never seen a natural disaster before. And yes, because yes, I've been living here my whole life. So I feel like that's one of the things I really like about living here in Arizona is that there are just no natural disasters at all, it seems like. And okay, maybe there might be, but only because of some weird weather. Like even though my mother like told us that I think it was like a few weeks ago, there was hail apparently. And I think that's because it's just the hard rain, and it's immediately getting really weird here because the rain here is becoming a little bit more often, and that's kind of scary. But I mean, I don't know how I can go wrong with it, so I mean, pretty much, yeah, right? That is wonderful to hear. If you ask me, I believe loving your nation through its triumphs and its tragedies is an honorable duty to uphold as a citizen. <laughs> Perhaps that was too random. As for Why me, is her chest so thick? Like, I don't want to be the nation that guy. Why? Rule, and I love it dearly. Its climate is temperate all year round, and our resort industry is booming. Woo! People from all over game industry come to Leanbox to take their vacations. Really? We have shining white sands and beautiful oceans for miles on end. Relaxing under an umbrella on the beach with a drink in hand. Why was it on her chest? <laughs> I am familiar with that look. You are attempting to picture me in my swimsuit, are you not? Wow. Oh, excuse me. I went a little off topic. Wow. Free and wow. abundant. Or at least this is the image the world has of us. I'm so glad that of all the times I've been Lean looking at her, I have not imagined that until she said so. Also I think that's an accomplishment. Powerful military industry. We deal in a variety of different weapons, and it is our nation's main export. Okay. Game industry has always had to deal with monsters, so these weapons are most often used defensively. They've received high praise from around the world. How do you use weapons defensively? Actually, of course, I receive some of that patronage from Uni of Last Station as well. It is the perfect fodder to negotiate a date with Uni and... <clears throat> oh, I misspoke. Pardon. What? In any case, I hear that many right? of Leanbox's industries are built around event production as well. To give an example, we recently held a dynamic performance where fighter jets drew pictures among the clouds. Is that a reference to something? I feel like that should be. I don't know what it is. Unfortunately, despite all of this, because Leanbox does not sit on the same landmass as the other nations, I am unable to see Nepgear and the others often. Whoa, did All you right. see that jiggle physics? That, that was so unneeded. I mean, it was However, realistic, but like, wow. I would be thrilled if I was able to convey even a fraction of her charm. Lepkeers? Oh, pardon me a moment. Wow, is that really the time? I apologize, but I must hurry back now. Oh. My apologies for leaving so abruptly, but I really must be going now. Good day to you. Well, good day to you, ma'am. <laughs> I don't know what this... How, who runs? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh. New room object, I'm supposed to. I guess we could just put in fur With... You know. Also, wait. New? What do you mean more new? Like, what? Oh. I can get a purple carpet. That's wonderful. Now, with Vert's chest out of the way, and whatever her type of tone of voice is, like, oh my gosh, what is she? Seducer? I don't know. We were here, and we were going to move on to... Oh, wait, first we have to go to that point. We yeah. get to... Oh, boy, I get to... That's cool. Speed run. Wow. 
Wonderful. So much running. Oh, we're back to uh, some more cryptid message. Actually, I'm gonna read this. I caught wind of some info that the organization is planning the assassination of... I'm gonna... At this point, I'm just gonna assume it's Uzume, because just the, you know, five-character numbers or five-character lettering seems like Uzume. And Uzume, you spell with five letters, so at this point, I'm just gonna assume it's Uzume. Can we all... Can all... Can all we do is rely on the assassination? The... Basilicom has decided to turn a blind eye. Is there no way to prevent the assassination? I'm modified at my own powerlessness. Uzume's assassination failed. I feel relieved knowing that she remains safe. This entry is much more detailed than anything else I've found. That's Nepgear talking about that. Why would anyone say that? other than the person who is reading the entries. Good job, Nepgear, you found some more detailed information. Oh no, wait, we're still continuing. Uzume returned to normal. However, Uzume's feelings are... Guilt... Guilt eat away at her? Hello, what is... The heck, what does that mean? Uzume wished for... Blank. If that is her wish, I will grant it for her. What's another name with five letters? Not Umio, because that's four. I'm making the assumption the five character letter missing boxes is U Uzume. Just from the way. It's, you know, constantly five letters every, almost every single time. And Uzume has five letters in her name. So, I feel like it has to be her. Or is there another person that also has five letters in their name? Because I don't think that's the case. I mean, unless you're telling me it's someone like, you know, Noir or Blonde or... I don't think that... I, I can't imagine it being that. So it has to be Uzumi, I feel like. Blind Rampage. This is starting to sound a lot like Uzume. This is merely a contour, but R4 and the Giant come to mind. And they have the similar point of bringing about destruction. Yeah, but... R4 doesn't have five character letters in her name. She has seven. She has seven character letters in her name. Uzume has five. Okay, so they were discussing about what Nipku has discovered, and they're trying to come up with some theories on like who it could be, but so far they're pointing it towards R4 and the Giants. But I don't know about you guys, but just because of the five character letters alone, and just kind of looking at Uzume's nature that she's kind of become at the moment, I feel like it has to be Uzume. And, you know, if this game decides to be those games and actually have some sort of, like, plot twist, even if it seems a little out of nowhere, at least a plot twist. I feel like they have to just, out of nowhere, pull a right hand and just say, Uzume is actually the one who's in those entries, doing whatever she's doing, and all that types of stuff. So I feel like it has to be Uzume, just from the way. I just feel it in my gut. If it's not Uzume, and if it's someone else with a five character letter name, I'm calling a BS. <gasps> it's Big Nip. Look at her. She's so precious. Look at her. Look at her. Look at her. <laughs> okay, so they found a share crystal, it seems like. Just lying around here? Right? Everyone having a session around this place. Perhaps that. Stick from before truly was a magical rod. Wow. Wow, Big Nip. I can't believe you just pointed into the direction of maybe not a four, but a sure crystal. Wow, that was actually it. They just found a sure crystal. Congrats. Going here? Yes, we're going here, Nepgear. Stop sounding so cute, okay? Let's go to the dungeon. Wow, she says that even better than Neptune. At least that's what I believe. And here we are. Now we get to play as. Ooh! Actually, she looks. She kind of looks a little small. Not gonna lie, but hey, she. Yeah, she definitely got a gun. Definitely got a gun. That's oh, awesome. Oh, that's right. I should write today's diary entry in my nip note. She does diaries as well. That's. Is she a teen? Oh. oh yeah, I can run. Wait, hold up. I want to get behind. What is that jump? Here you go. Here you go. Oh my gosh! Here Come on, get go. him! Get him! There we go. go can we just actually just pay note to the fact she has two katanas? Like, ha! 
Hold up. And she's like level 27. Like, why is she so strong? You want to escape? Maybe I should have put them in my book. I love she also sounds deep during that part. It's kind of nice. I'm just glad I finished what I started. That's really cool. Also, why don't you just use your gun? You have a gun? Can you actually use your gun? Like, a really cool person, please? Like a wallaby. A wallaby? What the Where heck? Kangaroo bunny, not no, wallaby. Kids. What? We'll go in my specimen book. I'm getting uh, pretty um, concerned about these changes. <laughs> Weird. Why did that miss? Why did that do little damage? I'm a force of fury. The level 27. All right, defeated. Next. I finished this stylishly. Yes. Okay, wait. Actually, just really want to check. Oh yes, we do have enough. Um, let's give her some new skills. Cause she, I don't like his uh rapid ways. Also, wait, wait. Where's the E? Yeah, here it is. Uh, ooh. Giant breaking waves. That's cool. What about this one? That also requires three AP. Uh, repeat waves. Okay. Learn a new skill. I wonder if there's anything she can also learn as well. Uh, yes. I just need credits. Which is a little bit harder to get than I thought. Yippee! You're all I'm going serious. in my specimen book. Really like how? I, okay, I'm sorry, but I really kind of love how deep she kind of sounds occasionally because it's kind of hot. Not gonna lie. Prepare yourself. Why didn't he die? Finally. All right. Uh, maybe right here. Useless. You Bye -bye. Okay, I got one of them my at least. Turn. That's what I care about. Uh, there's a lot of enemies. Ooh, but which one should we get? I think we should get one, one of these guys because they're actually frustrating. All right, oh, that was okay. That was pretty good, actually. Yeah, not bad. <gasps> Wait, oh my. She's so close to leveling up. I'm not gonna allow that to happen. Come on. Here you go. <sighs> wow, that did a lot of damage. Uh, heal yourself. Now, actually, can you heal everyone around here? Wait, why can't... Can I always, like, switch someone? Oh, I can! Nice! Um... What if I just stay, like, way back? Where do I, where do I go? How many turns does that cat get? He gets... Oh, I think he gets one turn. So, just for the sake of it, let's heal... Who's the man? That. You're welcome. It's literally now that I learned that I can heal others with that move. Bad. Oh, and she hit everyone. Or that stupid cat hit everyone. Don't mess with me. Maybe I should heal. Uh, actually, yeah, let's do that. Let's be smart and let's heal. Heal. Okay. Jeez. Let's nip things up. Where I miss this, and I will be upset. You want to escape? Why did that do no damage? I don't know. Why I can't go close enough? I don't know. Okay, there we go. Next. I'm not strong enough if I struggle that much. Yeah, I get it. Think I'm a little closer to Neptune Yeah, see, now she finally leveled up. Yeah, level up. How much until Nepgear needs to... Oh, actually, probably one more match. Did I even just call her Nepgear? It's adult Neptune. We got the first strike. <laughs> Into the specimen book. There, there, there. Why does that miss? You're in the way. Is there like a special skill I can gain just to avoid stuff like that? Because that is annoying. I finished this stylishly. Okay, she didn't level up, but I really want to check. So, anyway, status. If I could scroll down, please. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. This which for... I don't know why. Why do these Dohiyas give more health? Oh, wait, wait, wait. 
physical oh oh ooh, okay so they do have something to deal with you know the fact that you know just you know you you know i'm gonna have to figure that out soon because it is honestly pretty irritating that i just hit them and it misses you let your guard down it's we won! We won! W-I-N! Yes. Oh, I'm glad I'm still developing nicely. The jiggle physics, though. So I'm wondering, is the red circle like, oh yeah, guaranteed get hit from here, or like... Yeah, maybe okay, oh! It's a critical that hit? All. In the red squares, at least? Seems like it does the most book. damage when uh we, won, we, won. we put them in w the red I square N. or the red part, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I Let's go. <laughs> Actually, she might be a really strong character. Or very strong. I mean, she's level 27 for some reason. You want to skip the Let's go. Best character so far. <laughs> Dang, she hit so hard. I finished what I started. Oh yeah. Also, I yeah. Notice the jiggle physics, obviously. Whoa! What? Oh! Oh! Wait! What the heck? What? Why did my creative cloud just open on its own? What the heck? Whoa! Why did my creative cloud just open on its own? Whoa! How did we end it up here? Oh. I'll be your personal opponent. It's my turn. What is? Who are these? Christmas? They're just named Christmas. The heck kind of name is that? Don't mess with me. Well, too bad. Yeah. We're gonna do it again. Yeah. Well, they don't speak Japanese. They just speak weirdly. I'll hear you. Thanks for that. You're welcome. Finally. I know, right? Finally, time to freaking do the most you wanna <gasps> hard hitting attack you got. This is way too uncool. Oh, and now she also says this is way too uncool. Wonderful. I did it. I leveled. Oh, and she leveled up. Okay, never mind. That's that's cool, I guess. How's that? Was it cool? Yes, it was cool. Oh my gosh. I should probably like keep the talking to a minimum so that way I can edit out a lot of these parts because I feel like I'm saying something. Ooh, and it's gonna be like item. Oh wow. So we missed all this and that. So yeah, I'm just gonna stay silent until something happens. Oh we have enough credit, actually, hold up. Um who should uh, can you learn this move? Power slash. <laughs> Yay. Okay. And for you, I wonder if there's a way I can level up any of this stuff right here. But I don't think I can. I mean, if, if there is a way, I would love to know, because, you know. Um, rapid slash. I don't think we need to learn those ones, because power slash. Oh, wait. Whoa, combo arts, hold up. Let's unlock that. See how cool that one might be. This one's probably because of all my good deeds. Wait, what? Useless, useless, useless. You're so naive. Wow. Next, what should I do? Very good. You're so naive. Next. I'm not strong enough if I struggle that much. Level up. Bro, literally, what is with the jiggle physics? Her chest not even that big. I don't want to be that guy, but they're not. They should not be doing that. Like, unless it's super sensitive, like... Hello? I can see why this... I can see why they want us to uh, let us very well know that this game is rated T for teens. And specifically put... Partial nudity, even though that doesn't help the fact that there are bath scenes. Okay. Her jump is so weird, like, l just look at this. Like a wallaby. And then, uh, what is it? Uh, then let's look at uh, Uzume's jump or whatever. Actually, Uzume, I don't think, has made a comment about something. Hang on. Yeah! Oh, yeah, she punches. Oh, okay, never mind. That jump is also just as weird. It's just. Huh. Just, what is that jump though? 
But what do you have to say about this situation? Why are you up close to uh her? Like, hello, Nepgear? Let's take a little break, all right? Okay. Okay. Little break is done. What are you actually doing? Like, low key. What are you doing? I'm actually. <laughs> <laughs> what is- what? Okay, whatever, mate. <sighs> I managed somehow. Yeah, you're fine. I think I'm a little closer to Neptune oh, now. Especially since she leveled up. That's wonderful. Do I look cooler now? Yes, oh my gosh, of course, oh my gosh. Stop showing me that, you know. Ooh, weird camera watching us. In an arena, or an arena, it looks like. I've been oh, waiting, children. Course. Freaking her. Magical rod. Seems like the magical stick actually did uh, guide us the right way. Good job, Big Nep. Uh, R4, why are you here? We are talking about you, after all. I knew you'd be drawn here by the Share Crystal's power. Oh. I get it. She. Crystal clear. You set us up, didn't you? Correct. You're all too predictable. I figured using a silly crystal would draw you all out like moths to the flame. Well, I'm the one who found the thing, you know. Wait, that voice. Crosty? Well, if it ain't my old pal Neptune. It's been a while. You having fun out here? Crosty, I can't believe you betrayed us. What the f- Of course not. I went through a ton of crap because of you. You left me behind and I got really lonely. No fun at all. Whoops, my bad. I couldn't help it though. I got kind of excited. This type of world is so interesting and rare. Nepsy, is this really Crosty? The one you were talking about earlier? That's right. The name's Crosty. She's called that because she's crotchety. Yeah, keep flapping your gums, pal. It's related to Chronicle and you know it. Quit playing. Chronicle? As in a historical account? Nice work, fish brains. Yes, I record history. Whenever I travel to another dimension, I record all the history of that place. Wait, that sounds like a pretty important job. Why is someone like that tagging along with this haggard purple bug? Well, of course. If I'm with someone like her, the history I'm recording is gonna get real good. Wow! Wow! What a great friend! Wow! She's one step away from destroying this dump of a world, you know? You know how frickin' rare it is to see a world come to an end? Wow! That's it. We're replacing her somehow. We're going to. I don't you know how. We're going to. Man! anyone's ally and if I gotta pledge allegiance somewhere it's gonna be with whoever makes history more exciting oh yeah so what World War three then is that what you want because it almost happened and that's the story what a shame for you boring dimwits what do you say Neptune ditch those morons and come with us see how this plays out we can watch the world end together hmm I'll pass I'm not a big fan of Arbor, and come on, destroying an entire world? That's pretty macabre, even for you. Ugh, their boredom has infected you, hasn't it? This kind of history isn't something you see every day, even if you wanted to. Enough! Grar! I'll have no more idle gossip. I'm going to get rid of them now. I'm really disappointed. Yeah, yeah, sheesh. What a short piece. In the fact Don't you lose this one now. That Cross T, who is the, you know, dimension hopper that helps, you know, Big Nep get around places, straight up, low key, not even a second thought, just like, yo, R4, do this, do that. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. I don't know if R4 was the one who made that heavenly voice, but was that Crosty that did that? Me, Luz. <sighs> Just sit there and witness the demise of these poor CPUs. This is my true form. Ah! 
All right, we're gonna go through this boss battle. Oh, wait, what? No, she's a furry. She's transformed. <laughs> I'm sorry if I offended I'm anyone right there, but she got the feathers everywhere. She looks like Lucario, but like a form. goddess Lucario. Like, just, she's I don't know. Worse taste than I thought. Worse taste? The this previous form. form she went into was literally Here's an ugly brain form? monster. Whatever it's it was, exactly mother brain. Like the final form of the deity of sin. We fought before in my world. Oh, the four -legged hold up. monster we fought earlier also looked like the deity of sin's first form. Nevgear is retrieving some memories here. On top of that, with Krar on her side, the chances of us winning are quite slim, correct? Unfortunately, yes. Just Krar, when I finally found a way home too. You li literally just. No, we're not backing down yet, Gearzy. Honestly, I've got no clue about what kind of people Krar and this deity of sin are. But if Krar's only into this because she wants to see the world get completely wrecked, all we gotta do is make sure that doesn't happen. True. Uzume. Don't even trip. I'm gonna beat down that purple wuss with style. Just get the net bowl that big net pad. Too big to handle, then I can finally face it one on one. I'll fly us into a future I without this back. dummy. Wow, five, six bars of health, technically, because you know, she already has another bar after those bars to deplete. But seriously, that is a lot of health, ma'am. Oh, this is gonna take a while, that's a guarantee. To all. Die. Okay, but Let's she takes three AP up. every time. So I actually can't reach her. Are you kidding me? This misses. Okay, it didn't miss. But that wasn't a lot of damage. Uh Got a lot of health. I'm not okay with that. Whoa! Look at your ass. I'm sorry, ma'am. I won't hold back. Well, you better not, because you know. Multiple beam launcher. Not bad. Why does she have a lot of health? Did we need to do more, you know, grinding? If the it was the case. The time of the apocalypse is now. Hey, perish! Ouch! Eat this. And she got another turn. That's just great. She used it wisely, and I'm not okay with that. Get in the red, because that does way too much damage. But that's fine, because it's really aggravating. Alright, uh, use AP again, push mark. Boom. Why does that do no damage? I don't know. Maybe it's because she's getting that poison effect. I wonder if I'm supposed to handle that so. Okay, that did a good amount of damage, I think. Let's go here. Ruin to all. Hey. Oh, great. Yeah. Great. Great. Wonderful. Almost dead. Oh my god. Swear. Actually, no, use another. G gonna die. Someone help. Oh my gosh. <laughs> now you're making me worried. Healing pod restores one ally's health. Moment. Oh, mm. for now, let's go with the. Oh, no, wait, we can Here. do that afterwards, right? Okay, just because she's the strongest, yeah, let's do that. I'll use this. What? I just healed all the health? Now, excuse me. I guess we have to do this. Why weren't we able to do that beforehand? I don't know. Um. Yeah. With this high speed sword dance? Yeah! Good job. Spiral dream! I'll go full power! Yeah! Ba it's gonna take a while. I shall go full 
Oh, okay, I she's gonna get her turn. I think she's gonna do like three moves, maybe? Maybe more, I don't know. Actually, wait, you have a special, right? Yes, you do. Steel charge. Oh, uh, I don't think she has any, you know. This is the essence of dual wielding. Yeah! Wow, that did a lot of damage. Let's do that again. The time of the apocalypse yeah! is now. Be swallowed by the darkness and suffer. Ouch! <gasps> Die! Yeah. What should I do? Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is just borderline unfair now. Wow. I'll end this all. This has gone to a whole nother level of ridiculous. I'm not letting you So now our attacks life. are probably much more weaker, and I'm I I'm pretty sure there probably is a way to get rid of the effects, but like oh wait. Removes poison from Oh, removes poison. I Yeah, hang on. Removes virus. Uh we should probably Who's the stronger one? I think I'll give it to you. Thank you. Anger? Oh, great. <laughs> the enemy's emotion status is the state of which the enemy is anger at the character. In this state, the anger, the enemy will continually attack the targeted character. Enemies will become angry more easily towards characters that attack their weaknesses, incure a part's break, or heal others. It's also possible to make anger occur more easily with skills that have a provoke effect. Wonderful! So just to make the matter even worse, we... Could actually do some crazy stuff to us. Watch me, please. There we go. Let's get back to goddess form or HDD form. I'm just gonna call it goddess form because that sounds fun. I'll show you the power of a CPU. That is a really cool transformation. It's not live. Yeah. Why did that do so much damage? All right into the specimen book. Again, red. There, there, there. This will not be my end. You're not half bad. Be swallowed by the darkness and suffer. This attacks all of yeah. us. Mother the virus again. Oh my. She gets to be swallowed by the darkness. She goes again? Suffer. <laughs> what? Okay, no, you know what? I'ma just uh, be right back. Just give me some time. I'm gonna just grind my levels. And we should probably. I mean, I think we have enough items, but like, I feel like we just need to do more grinding. So just give me some time. I'ma just like go through the whole area and find as many enemies as I can and just, you know. 15 minutes later. Okay, so here I am back. I think. Uh, the whole grinding section that I just did took about, like, what, like, 30 minutes or something? Maybe a little bit longer? So, I mean, as you can obviously see... Let's take a um, little break, alright? Yeah, yeah, this is our little break right here. You can see, um, I actually looked through a bit of the equipment and a bit of some of the skills to add. Uh, Nep uh Big Nep actually leveled up to where she can actually have five points of AP instead of four, I which is... I saw something over there. How can you see something over there when your eyes are closed? I also... Wasn't really for sure about the doggy ears on uh, Uzume, but I figured out it also has poison resistance. So I really wanted all of them to have poison resistance one way or the other. So I'm pretty hungry. That's what they all got. So and that's also why uh, Big Nep has this really cute little beanie or little how did knit how did I don't know. All of them have poison resistance, so or a bit more poison resistance. So I'm hoping that this will go more smoothly than it uh, was last time where we actually lost. Also, I'm just wondering, I feel like this in some way is stronger than the special moves themselves. To all. Ouch! Consume all! Fine. 
Finally. So I'm hoping. There, not there, bad. There. It's Uzume's turn. For Uzume though, I feel like she, her uh, special moves are stronger though. Yeah, yeah, I think. Actually, they look just as you All know right. effective as if she. I don't know. I won't go easy. See, I feel like I'm making a little bit more progress now that I actually leveled up. One thing I just really hate is that I, you know, actually figured out that she could use special moves, and I think that's honestly unfair. Um, hold up. Give her healing pod. I'll use this. Uh, now she can't go anywhere. Spiral dream. Here I go. I'll go calmly. Yeah. Okay. All right, into the specimen book. Useless, useless, useless. Okay, I think we're Time making definitely way more progress than last time. Hey. Yeah. Well, last time she actually used a special move on us, and uh, we didn't live for it because she did it twice. And it's super strong for whatever reason, so. I guess we have to do this. Yeah. Oh, and it missed. All right, into the specimen book. Get her in the red. Yeah. Oh my gosh, she's almost dead! Come on. Okay, okay, here we go. Here we go. Don't joke with me. We actually did it. Yes, that grinding session was actually worth it. So frustrating with her, isn't it? I saw too many dreams. Oh. Okay, but yes. Oh, that was so dumb. We did it. Why? Why can't I win even in this form? Cause grind. That's why. Just big nep over there. Looks like we've won. We actually managed to win still that was pretty rough and her change in power is way too drastic you guys now Krar, will you join us r4 has fallen and this world will no longer be annihilated say no and i will slap you one day crossy are you freaking kidding me fish brains damn i was so close to recording an apocalypse not yet it's not over yet. Krar, give me that power. The powers of the CPU from another world. Huh? How the hell do you know about that? Have you seriously forgotten alerting me of its existence? Uh, I guess I did mention it. Oh well, I could use some amusement, so I'll let you borrow this power. Never mind. It, one day. One day. One day we will. Is that the power of Tari freaking CPU? Jump her, any way, shape, or form. Wow, I'm surprised you remember, especially after being treated so horribly. Gearsy, what's that creepy black lump? It's the power of an ancient CPU that Neptune and I fought in a place called Ultra Dimension. Ultra, Hyper Dimension, Mega Dimension, Ultra Dimension? Like what? Really they just have Super that? Neptunia RPG. Damn straight. Oh, now it's gonna get real exciting watching how this unfolds. Anything but that. Everyone, please stop her. All we gotta do is stop her from using it, right? Usumi, let's go. Hell yeah. Please. It's useless. <sighs> oh, we can't get past her barrier. We're going to jump her. We're going to jump Krosty. We're going to jump her. Like hardcore. We're going to jump her. The power flows within me. This power was meant for me to wield. <laughs> Ha 
now, brats. I'd like to see you try and resist this despair if you can. Wait. No. This can't be. She turned into the giant? Are you freaking serious? Whoa! Man! Oh no, wait! really do it if you try, R4. I'm getting real excited. No, the giant was summoned? <laughs> more! More! Sink further into despair! Who the hell's gonna sink into despair? I'll take down all you nauseating villains, no matter how many times it takes! So we have to do Lydia, this again? Will the amount of share crystals we have on hand be enough to fight her? Ah, uh, it's just not enough. We consume most of our supply when sending Nepsi back to her world. The ones we have here will barely be enough for you to transform. Even if we were to use all of them, it would not be enough to overpower her. Then what can we do? Are we just gonna die here? <laughs> you know what we gotta do, right? We're just gonna take that oversized crystal from out of her grubby mitts! That's just not fight it over. Got it! Mm. Huh! Uzume! Nepgear. If Uzume's hurt, we can't just stay here. Let's run while we can. Okay. Uzume, please grab onto my shoulder. Uh, I'm sorry, Gearzy. Please, it's all right. Don't waste your energy talking. I broke my promise to you. It doesn't matter. So please, please, let's go. You ready, Nepgear? Let's get out of here. I won't let any one of you escape. This place shall become your grave. Now, Dark CPU, strike down these weaklings with all of the power you possess. Lady, are you freaking nuts? If you do that, you're gonna make our graves here too. Shut up, Croxy. What's wrong with that? My name is R4. I am the one who will bring destruction to this world and the CPUs. My life means nothing as long as... as long as I can destroy the CPUs! Oh, frick. Should have known this one was bad crazy. Now she's so juiced up with power, it's knocking all her screws loose. I have to censor that... CPUs! All of game industry! Tremble before me and perish! Posty, remember this is your fault. Like all your fault. Whew. Every single bit of it is your fault. A lot. Wow! So many share crystals. How did you find these? Everyone from our tribe gathered them all. I wonder if this will make Miss Uzume happy. I'm sure she'll be ecstatic. Huh? Uh, what's wrong? I thought I just saw a flash of light coming from the mountains over there. I wonder what that is. Share crystals? No, no, it's something else. Share crystals glow more brightly. Hey, isn't that the direction that Miss Uzume and the others went? Oh, I hope it's nothing bad. Oh, it's everything bad. Krosty decided to give everyone the middle finger. She's like, oh yeah, let's do this, because I want to see it. Uzume, please hold on. Just a little longer till we reach the base. Once we reach the base, we should be able to administer the proper treatment. Please, try and stay awake until we arrive, Uzume. Uh, what do we do? Uzume's breathing is getting weaker every minute. Hey, you guys! Miss Uzume's back! Really? Miss Uzume is home? Everyone hurry and get a bed and the medical equipment ready! Huh? What? What's happened? Miss Uzume got hurt! She's in critical condition! Get all the medicine and bandages you can! I'm realizing the river in the background is actually moving. Or is it the clouds or fog? Yeah. I don't know. We somehow made it. Please stand aside and bring any medical supplies you have available. Is Miss 
Uzumi all right? Is she going to make it? To be completely honest, I don't have a definite answer for you. We may have to prepare ourselves for the worst outcome. Yeah, thanks a lot, freaking Krosty. Game industry. It'll end if the last CPU disappears. I won't let that happen. I must save Uzume. That's a real nasty looking wound. You really think you can fix it, Nepgear? Well, I don't have any real experience with medical treatment, but if not me, then who? Who else cares enough to try and save her? Well, I mean, you've, you know, hung around with Kampa, right? You might have a bit of uh, some knowledge here and there. Uzume, I'm going to borrow your visual radio for a little while, okay? Since I copied all of the Endgear's applications and databases onto this, it must have... Hmm... Found it. Here's a medical database. Gosh, I'm so glad I put it in here. Uzume, she will recover then. It's still not definite, but I'm going to do everything in my power to save her. Dang it! It's all your fault this happened to Uzume in the first place, Krosty. As punishment, I'm gonna seal you into my specimen book so this will never happen again. Freaking Krosty. Well, hey! Ow! My wings are gonna freaking tear! Don't worry. I'll tape them right up and... There. All done. How was I supposed to know that old bag was suicidal, too? Damn it. That purple idiot didn't just take that rare CPU's power, but she took part of mine, too. This form is just way too pathetic. Oh, I was about to say, like, what? Oh, yeah, also, we should probably, uh, uh, get more of these. I think. These are actually really good. Nepgear, how's Uzume doing? Oh, Neptune. I was able to stop the bleeding somehow, but the medicine here isn't enough. You can't make any? Well, there are some recipes in my database, but I don't have the essential ingredients. Don't worry about that. I'll get those for you. Once you have the right ingredients, you can take care of her, right? I mean, I've never made medicine before. But this is for Uzume. I know I can do it. Hey, if you can make technology, then I mean, maybe you can somehow have some knowledge in terms of well making said. medicine. Just as expected. Of I mean, we made medicine sister. like way back Although in the day before we even had a TV. Racist, but you know, you're so smart, Nepgear. I couldn't even compete with your intellect, but I'll help you out however I can. We're gonna save Uzume together. I'm gonna go along with you. You don't need to stay with Uzume? I've given her all the treatment I can for now. Umio and the others can keep an eye on her. Right now, the medicine is our top priority. If Uzume doesn't get it soon, her condition could escalate and become life-threatening. We'd better hurry then. What a pain. If that's the case, I'll help too. Oh yeah, you that freaking voice. better. Started Hard? pretty much in a- Where is she? You started like- Pretty much the end of the world. The end of the dimension. The end of what could be multiple dimensions. Ta-da! She's right here. What? What's she doing in the specimen book? It was her fault that Uzume is in this condition. So, as punishment, I taped her into the book so she won't cause any more trouble. Oh, but I guess with Kurar in this form, the book actually kind of suits her. Hey, did you just laugh right now? Neptune, you better let me the hell out already. Oh, sure. On one condition. Nepgear and I are gonna look for medicinal ingredients for Uzume. So if you lend a hand, I might consider letting you out of there. Are you for real? If that's all I gotta do, no problem. Come on, let's get to it. All right. More non-English. Okay. So she summarized. So oh, not not summarized, but uh, in summary, she's just telling about like there are a few items that can be dropped from monsters. So oh, we're yeah. going back here. I don't know if that means we have to go all the way back here to go get said items, or if uh, or how long it will take. 
because I really hope it doesn't take that long. Oh, actually, there are two other points, so I think we have to just... Huh. Okay, then. Let's do our best. Guess we're gonna have to do some grinding again. She just teleported to me? Hello? We're gonna skip all these enemies, because I'm for sure everything... And if I if I even fight them like for the insiest bit, they'll just die in one hit. Oh, Delicious we're in a battle now. Okay. Whoa. For duty. Okay. Fast as die. I missed. Really? We're not about to let this woman die, not have the experience. Actually, wait. How much ex mm. For this one last part, though. I don't know. Experience is always Here, everything. Plus, I'll we can just get this. another one. Wanna skip sorry to slash and dash. At least she'll get the experience, at least. Kind of sounds like a waste, I know, but I hey. That much. So get the experience, yay, right? Yeah, up. and she leveled up too from that. So yay. So if I had not, I would have never gotten the experience. All right, so that was that. Now Let's we got to get go. to here, which is that weird blossom tree place, right? Let's do our best. This time, let's have her, aka probably best girl. Or I, I don't even know at this point, you know, because we got freaking blonde, nep gear, big nep, like, come on. Although, I would definitely like to have, you know, the party of the three of them in the front. That would be awesome. Oh, that's right. I should write today's diary entry in my nep note. Yeah, thank you very much. Alright, here we are. Pretty sure there is another enemy. That's the guy, the monster you want. Uzume, please hang on. We're gonna defeat this monster. This oh, wow, that guy looks kind of weird. Come on, please. There, there, there. Okay, thank you, jeez Bye. Louise. Gosh. That I is have to do frustrating how they time. get so many turns. Level up. Okay, at least she leveled up. Does this mean she gets 5 AP now instead of just 4? Alright, so... Let's get back to the let's base. Go. And save Coral. Uzume. Nepgear. I, I understand, but Nepgear. Just know this. You have made some very amazing technology. You are smarter than both Neptune and Big Neptune. You have a power sword, and you, my lady, for a younger sister, are amazing, beautiful, sorta of thick, and absolutely pure on the inside. So you got this. Okay, I don't know why I needed to take it to that level, but you know what? Whatever, right? Oh yeah, the Netbowl VII. <laughs> or is that seven? Netbowl seven, because you know, V No wait! V wait, no, wait, 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 wait. I might get this wrong, wait. No, V, you know, it is 7. V is 5, right? Oh, great. So she became one of the dark CPUs. So what does that mean? They're way more amazingly stronger now? Great, wonderful. Just what I need to hear. Oh. Oh. Great. Great. Wonderful. Oh, who's amazed? Back home. So... It seems so okay, Uzume seems to be still a little bit injured, but it seems like, you know, now that the thing is coming, because R4 and the Dark CPU have fused, apparently, which is a thing, if it, they weren't that much more, you know, overpowered or they didn't have that many abilities already, which I guess in this game it's about a thing where just everyone kind of has a superpower of literally anything one way or the other, especially if you go HDD form, where they can not only fly, but they can do very insane things. 
So, I am guessing that, um, we're gonna have to fight the thing, apparently? I don't know. I don't even know, man. A day? It'll take a day. Still, though, it's coming. A secret from Gearsy. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Whoa! Oh my- okay. Okay. Fine. 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 At least she's got the towel. At least. She's got the bloody towel. Okay. Wait, why does she have the bloody towel? She completed the evacuation, but it- What? Oh, oh my- Oh my gosh. I swear, this game gets a little too close to the nudity and it's honest killing me. Especially the bath scenes. And this was not what I was asking for. But what was the secret behind Uzume Neptune? Or what do they have a secret behind her? I'm like, I, 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 I don't know. But also kind of like the little ponytail Nepgear's got. Actually kind of reminds me of Monica. Let's just be honest. Uh -huh. Thanks to you guys, I got used to it. It was just embarrassing taking my clothes off in front of other people. That's, I mean, cool, but that's, that's weird. A nudist? <laughs> yes, question mark? I mean, she's got the towel and that's literally covering her body, like, not even at all, let's be honest. I mean, look at, look at Nepgear. Look at her, have her as an example. Look how she's got the towel wrapped around from the upper body all the way down more than likely. Look at that. Uzume, please do something better than just have the towel over your shoulder and barely covering the booze. Hold up. Again, a sad moment. It just kicked in. I know I said this before, but when you and Nepsi invited me to come with you to your world, it made me really happy. I kept imagining over and over how fun it would be and the things we would do if I really decided to go with you both. To be honest, Umio and the others had given have given me a light push too, saying if I truly wish to go, then I should just do it. But I couldn't bring myself to do that. It's slight, but every time I get more shares back, a part of my memory surfaces. They were memories of me as a CPU surrounded by many people, and my beautiful nation where everyone lived in true happiness. Seeing such memories made my attachment to this place grow even stronger, and it made it harder for me to abandon this world. So please, Gearzy, lend me your strength again. I want to save this world. Please defeat, please, defeat Afor and save the world, save this world with me. Aww. Our meeting began... Our meeting began with the promise that I would, after all. Let's defeat our four together and save this game industry. Oh! Okay, I think we might be able to finish off this episode. I don't even know the episode number, but it's time for Nep Station. I honestly think I'm just ending off the episode every time I get to a Nep Station, so I think this is the sixth part, right? This is probably the sixth episode. I didn't know if we'd make it through, but I'm glad Uzume managed to heal. You were really cool when you decided to save her Nep Gear. Y yeah, right, you're exaggerating. It's no exaggeration, you were like a protagonist shedding all of their doubts. Aw, oh, it's embarrassing if you compliment me so much. Now that I've teased Netgear to death, to the episode preview, the final battle between the CPUs and R4 has begun. The lives that never would have been lost had they never met and continually sucked into the world. Fighting is fated to always be covered with blood. Next episode, Zero Dimension, Neptunia Z, scatter your life. Prepare to see some tears for the ages. I'm not sure how I feel about that, because that actually might mean a bad thing. Like a pretty bad thing. Like a, oh no, someone's gonna die and I'm gonna- Oh, hey, we got a VR session! I was wondering, so I, I mean, I guess it makes sense since she got Crossy back, but like, you know. Oh. She tripped. It's cute, but what the heck? Oopsie Daisy. Where am I? Oh man, I was trying to sneak in and surprise you. Oh well. I'm on my bed again. 
I've been playing a retro game from Louis lately, but I can't get past this one boss. In order to beat it easily, I need to beat the boss of another stage and get this weapon, but that boss reflects attacks. It's really strong. Okay, I don't want to be that guy, but that sounds like something in a Legend boss, of Zelda game, to right? this tough stage where platforms disappear. And in order to beat that stage easily, you need a weapon from that first boss and... Wait, what? Is this some infinite loop? That sounds like something in a Legend of Zelda game. I don't know, because I haven't played one. I, I don't want to be that guy. Much. I should change the topic. I can talk about myself. Oh, yes. Hmm, perfect. Even though that's see. what you were doing earlier. Just consider this me thinking out loud. Okay. You know, I was super anxious until Uzume woke up. Okay, so this is recent. There on the front was the whole lines with video? I should have stopped her no matter what. Thinking about that made me feel guilty. But Nepgear wouldn't give up. She made me see how ridiculous I was for being so timid. Even though she's from a different dimension, she's still my younger sister. Aww. Because of that, I realized that I had to take the lead. All right, I'd better go make more of my special netball V2 for Uzume. Okay, then you better get to that. Oh, hey, hey, there's going to be a huge battle, but afterwards, let's eat pudding together. How? Wait, first of all, feet. Like, it took me a while to notice that, but, you know. But, yeah, I'll just pretend like I like it. That's what I like to hear. Okay, well, stay tuned and watch our awesomeness. That will be for another episode, though. Thanks for listening to me. You're welcome, ma'am, beautiful lady, everything. I'm going to end this episode off and immediately start this next episode. If you guys enjoyed watching this video, give it a like, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed this. Which, then again, the first part, I mean, when I'm recording this, the first part hasn't even come out yet on my YouTube channel, so... I don't know if anyone has enjoyed this or not, but I'm really hoping that some people are actually taking their time and actually wondering, hey, this is kind of a cool game. And, you know, I don't know, because these are going to be really long, I can tell you. I'll see you guys whatever you do next. Take care. God bless you guys. Have a wonderful day. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to get right into the seventh episode, pretty much. <laughs>